what's happening guys ha yolo another beer video another great notion beer of course uh this is actually an old one it's been sitting in my fridge i was just trying to make my way through the stock of beers and um, i already had this one i just didn't do a video on it but uh, i'm doing one now it says drink fresh uh can on 4 16 19 today is 6 6 19 so it is pretty old um I don't remember too much about it, but I remember it was a solid beer. It's a Luminous Number no. 4 uh, Tart IPA, aka Sour IPA, brewed with lemon, coconut, and vanilla. It's right there. And can artwork. Very similar, man, to um, a beer I just did, a video I just did. Uh, it's called The All Seeing Eye by Berlick Brewing. Uh, link for that would probably be below or in my playlist or whatever it's called. A list of videos it is six percent abv right there and there's that description you want to pause it to read or whatever but let's get this into a glass man see what it looks like smells like and tastes like Ooh, there we go i'm always so scared to open these damn cans now worried that it's overfilled and you know the beer kind of just flies everywhere and then have to run and get a rag and clean it up but it was not the case with this one so let's see here, poured with about half a finger of head. Very, very thin head, man. Thin, uh, looks like it's gonna dissipate any second here, uh, which is good because I'm always describing the head as soapy, frothy, small, big bubbles. It's gonna linger, blah, blah, blah. This is different. This is like very thin. It's basically gone, man. Um, go to the color. It is this very vibrant yellow orange color. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a hazy sour IPA for sure. It is definitely very like, I guess, sun color, I guess. Like if you were to watch a cartoon colored sun, this is what it would look like. I, I don't even know, man. It's just yellow and orange, man. That that's what it looks like right there. Uh, let's get the aroma on this. Tons and tons of citrus peels, man. Just tons of it. And keep in mind, there's lemons and coconut in here. Uh, that first whiff, I might actually be getting a lot of lemons too. Okay, so just a lot of citrus again on that note. I think I got lemons that first time around before I uh, started swirling it around. And someone mentioned before, why do I swirl it? I feel like it enhances the uh, aroma on this just because it releases carbonation and then that carries aroma up. So that is why I swirl it. I don't know if it's true or not. It seems to be working for me because like when I swirl the glass, uh, the aroma definitely intensifies when I shove my nostrils in there um, to get a whiff of it. So that's why I do it. Oh yeah, definitely getting lemons in there and also get like wet dog food. Um, I feel like I've gotten this aroma before in another beer. It wasn't on the flavor on the palate, which is great. Um, but yeah, just... Oh, I know what it is. Okay, so I said wet dog food, but it is it is definitely this like sweetness, maybe lactose. I don't know if there's lactose in here and that coconut. That coconut is blending very oddly with the uh, citrus and the uh, what might be lactose, milk sugar, whatever it may be. Uh, it's blending very weird with it. And so it's making this like wet dog food aroma, at least to me it does. Oh yeah, okay. Definitely getting that coconut aroma here. Um, it is kind of like artificial smelling um, coconut. Not like if you were to crack open a fresh coconut or like eat uh, coconut, I don't even know, you dried coconut, I suppose. It doesn't smell like that. It smells more artificial, like coconut syrup, but not overly done, I suppose. Yeah, that's as I let it sit and I swirl it around. When I swirl it, apparently that um, brings up a lot of citrus. But yeah, just a lot of citrus on the nose, uh, faint artificial-ish coconut and uh, semi sweetness to it. Anyways, let's get the flavor on this. Cheers, guys. Yeah, um, brings back memories. Definitely have tasted this before. It, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's all coming back to me now, man. Very light beer, light body, uh, not too tart. Definitely some tartness there, but not too tart.
yeah, up front, very lemony, very citrusy, um, mainly just lemons, I suppose. And then you get like this artificial-ish coconut aroma, not aroma, taste coming through. And along with that is just tartness and it fades out to be a very clean finish, man. Um, once it's gone, it's basically gone. You don't, I mean, you might get a trace of like, a small trace of like lemon peels, but other than that, man, it's, it's a pretty clean finish. Mouthfeel, nothing spectacular, just water consistency. Very easy drinking beer. Um, I taste all the flavors as advertised. You see lemon, coconut, and vanilla. Maybe that's not what I was getting on the nose. That's uh, the lactose, it's actually vanilla. That makes total sense, because it was sweet, and it had like this weird, like, I wanna say creamy, but like milk sugary. Uh, like vibe to it, I suppose. So it could be the vanilla. Let me see if I can get vanilla on the uh, flavor here. Yeah, I get I, I get where it's coming from now. It's that finish. You get that lemon, uh, orange peel type deal mixed in with the vanilla. Does it work for me? In my opinion, I don't like that combination. It is not bad. I just don't like that combination. I've had it in other beers before where there's, cit there's citrus and vanilla. And it just, I don't know, it makes for this very weird flavor in my opinion. Like if it was a little creamier, I suppose, then I love Orange Dream Machine from Java Juice, right? Um, that's basically just a lot of citrus and vanilla, I feel like, because uh, they probably use vanilla ice cream or whatever. And that works well, I love that thing. But this just is lacking, I think it's too, maybe too citrusy or there's just not this creamy uh sugary sweetness to it i suppose i don't know what it is but in a beer uh it kind of doesn't really work for me i tried like an orange creamsicle milkshake ip or whatever it may be and i don't and that was not good to me either i don't think um yeah just something about it in a beer it just there's no balance there for me it feels like they're all they're both fighting each other they're not really working together but this is still a very refreshing beer I like the coconut. I can taste all the flavors that are advertised on the can. Um, and a 6% ABV, very drinkable, very sessionable, very crushable. Uh, yeah, that's great notions. Luminous number four, brewed with coconut, lemons, and um, I just said a vanilla. Uh, you guys like the video, give a thumbs up. Comments leave below, subscribe for more videos. Uh, do I recommend this beer? Yes, definitely try it. It's not a bad beer. Definitely a summer crusher for sure. Uh, I wouldn't go crazy over it, but definitely, you know, give it a try, give it a shot. Anyways, man, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers.